Welcome back. La 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 One two three, count with me. Four five six, count like this. Seven and eight, nine and ten. That's great. Clap your hands. One two three, sing with me. Four five six, just like this. Seven and eight, nine and ten. Adventure time again. Look there, look. There are clues that can be found. Don't give up, you'll be fine. Together, like stars, we'll shine. One, two, three, count with me. Four, five, six, count like this. Seven and eight, nine and ten. That's great. Clap your hands. Chucky and I are done with our airplane. Cool airplane, Paula. But check out the one Calc and I made. Your airplane looks nice, Tim. Of course. And I'm sure our airplane can fly better than yours. Oh, yeah? Why don't we see whose airplane can stay in the air the longest? <laughs> You're on. The numbers can help us count how long our airplanes stay in the air. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you guys can go first. You can throw the airplane, Paula. Okay, Billy, let's count how long our airplane stays in the air. Here goes. One, two, our airplane stayed in the air for only two counts, Paula. That's not very long at all. Two counts? That's easy to beat. I'm going to throw the airplane, Calc. I'll have a better chance of winning because I'm taller than you. Fly, airplane, fly! One. No! Your airplane only stayed in the air for one count, Tim. I guess that means we win. <sighs> we need better airplanes. Hey, Tim, check this out. It says, get cool airplanes and more at Mr. Merchant's shop. Yes, yes, let's do that. Okay, everyone, let's go to the desert to get a better airplane. Hi, Mr. Merchant. Do you have any toy airplanes that are better than this one? Yes, of course. You do? Are they super cool? Can they also go really fast and fly really high? Definitely. I have the best toy airplanes in the world. Awesome. Can we have one? Sure. In five to ten business days when my stock arrives. What? No. Why do we have to wait that long? Oh, sorry. I just sold my very last cool toy airplane to the prince. The prince? There's a prince here? Hey, guys, look. It's a cool airplane. Ah, yes. That's the one I sold to the prince. Maybe he'll let you play with it. Then let's follow that airplane to find the prince. Quickly, everyone. The airplane is flying into the palace. Halt! You may not enter the palace without an official invitation. That is the rule. Please, Mr. Guard. We just want to ask the prince if we can check out his cool airplane. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Prince Emil, please, you have to let me do my job. Hi, Prince Emil. I'm Tim. You have such an awesome toy airplane. Can we play with it? Hmm. Only if I get to play together with you guys, too. I don't get to play much with other children. Sure you can join us, Emil. Yeah, that'll be awesome. Yay! Let's go fly the plane in the desert. Do you really have to come with us? Yes, my prince. I'm sorry, but my orders are to keep you safe. That is the rule. <sighs> Fine. Wow, your plane is so awesome, Emil. It can even go faster than Calc. You must have lots of cool stuff as a prince. What's it like being a prince? 
My father, the Sultan, makes sure I have the very best things. But I also have lots of rules to follow, and it can get really boring in the palace. That's why I am so glad to be able to play with all of you today. Come on, guys. Let's fly the plane higher. Wait, your highness. Please come back under the umbrella. It is very sunny today. Can you just go away and let me have some fun? I am sorry, my prince. But your father, the Sultan, has asked me to watch over you. I have to stay by your side. It's the rule. Here, Mel. Would you like to have a go at playing with the airplane? Yes, I would really like to. But first, I really need to go to the toilet. Okay, I will take you back to the palace right away. No, uh, I, um, I really need to go now. Can we go to the toilet in the marketplace? It's much nearer. As you wish, my prince. Ah, a toilet. I'm going to take a while. I'll stand guard outside and wait for you, my prince. A Mills airplane is so cool. I can't wait to play with it again. Yeah, I want to give it a try, too. What is it, Calc? Hey, who's that? Guys, it's me, Prince Emil. Emil? Wow, you look different. Shh, I'm in disguise, so people won't recognize me as the prince. Quick, let's get out of here. Um, what about Mr. Guard? He needs to stay by your side to protect you. Isn't that a rule? No, if he comes along, we will never have any fun. Don't worry, I do this all the time. It's fine, come on. Wow, this airplane can fly up really high in the sky. No, 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 not so high. Oh, Mr. Guard will see it and find us. Let's fly it lower to the ground, okay? But that's not very fun. It can still be lots of fun. Here, let me show you some tricks we can do with the plane. See that? It is a loop-to-loop. -loop. Cool! Awesome! Here, try it, but remember to fly it low. I'm almost doing it. Nope, it's falling. Um, guys, what's that coming towards us? Ah, it's a snake! Oh, no! There's another one there, too! What are we gonna do? I wish Mr. Guard was here to save us! That's it! We need to fly the airplane up high so Mr. Guard can find us! Here goes! Why is the airplane not going higher? Ah! It's falling! Oh, no! It must be out of batteries! We're never going to get Mr. Guard's attention now! Don't give up yet! We still have this airplane! But it can't fly as high as the cool remote control airplane, Paula. Maybe it can. Calc is super strong. He'll be able to throw the airplane really high up. I hope Mr. Guard sees it. Mr. Guard, quick, save us from the snakes. Very well, unknown child. Stand back. Take that, snakes. Yeah! You saved us! Thank you, Mr. Guard. Your Highness! Where did you come from? I was looking everywhere for you. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. And I saw you saved my friends. Thank you for getting rid of the snakes. You're welcome. It is my job to make sure you are safe. By the way, it is getting late, my prince. Then we should go back to the palace. After all... It's the rule! <laughs> <laughs> Of the day. Two snakes! Two airplanes! Dance with Cal! Hey, Tim. How come you're still playing with this airplane? It's still pretty cool. It's light, doesn't need batteries, and it can also do the loop-de-loop. -loop. Watch! Oops! Oh, dear. One of its wings is broken. Nuh-uh. It's even cooler now. Look. Four wings are better than two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay, Tim, do join us on our next adventure. Hmm, I'll have some cucumbers and a bit of ham. Hey, Billy, you haven't put anything on your sandwich yet. Is something wrong? I don't know what to put on it, Paula. How about some tomatoes? Um, no thanks. <laughs> you don't like your sandwich, Tim? I'm bored of always eating the same ingredients. I want something new and different. Oh, I know. I'll be right back, guys. Ta-da! Look at all these new and exciting ingredients for our sandwiches. Would you like to try any of them, Billy? Um... I don't think I want to try something new. Come on, Billy. You might like it. And the numbers can help us count how many ingredients you and Tim put onto your sandwiches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Are you ready to build your sandwiches? Billy, you can go first. Okay. One. That's it? Well, I'm definitely going to use more than a slice of cheese. Let's count the number of ingredients I'm going to put on my sandwich. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and for the final topping, hot sauce. Eight. I can't wait to taste my new sandwich creation. Here goes. Ew, yuck. That didn't taste very nice. I'm still hungry. I want something new, but also yummy. Maybe the supercomputer can help. Great idea, Paula. I want something that's different, like this sandwich, but it also has to taste good. Okay, Tim, let's run the numbers to find a dish that matches what you want and where we can find it. Is that a bowl of soup with white cubes in it? Wow, I don't think I've had this soup before. It looks like we can find it in the Far East. I can't wait to try it. Okay, everyone, let's go to the Far East to try the new soup. It smells so good. This must be the place with the soup. Hello, children. Come, sit. I am Mama Ling, and this is my food stall. Hi, I'm Tim. I'm hungry to try something new and delicious. Do you have soup with white cubes in it? Oh, yes, of course. My famous tofu soup. I'm making a new pot right now. What's in your tofu soup, Mama Lang? There's some tofu, carrots, onions, potatoes, and mushrooms. Um, I don't see any mushrooms. Oh, my. You're right, children. It's okay. I'll just run out and pick some. How long will you take, Mama Ling? I really want to eat your famous tofu soup. Don't worry. I'll be back very quickly. Mama Ling, maybe we can help you get the mushrooms. You will? Oh, you children are such darlings. The mushrooms I need have a long, thick stem and a round top. Where can we find these mushrooms, Mama Ling? You can find it at the foot of the mountain. Here, use this basket to collect the mushrooms. Okay, Mama Ling. We'll be back with the mushrooms very soon. We're here. Does anyone see the mushrooms? I see some over there. These mushrooms look too skinny. I don't think they're the right ones. How about these mushrooms? They have a round top, like in the drawing. But the stem is too short. These aren't the right ones either. Hey, guys, I think I found the right mushrooms. They're all the way up there. 
Oh, dear. How are we going to get to them? The numbers can help us. Awesome! The numbers made us a ladder to climb up. Hurry, let's get those mushrooms. Isn't this a bit too much work for tofu soup? This mushroom has a long, thick stem and a round top. This is the right mushroom. Yay! We found it. Let's give these mushrooms to Mama Ling to put in her tofu soup. <gasps> Careful, oh, Chalky! Dear. Oh no! The mushrooms! They're destroyed! Where are we going to find more for Mama Ling's famous tofu soup? Um, right over there. Oh! How did we miss this whole place that's filled with mushrooms? Thank you, children. You must be starving. But don't worry, I'll be done cooking very quickly. Oh, man, I'm sure this is going to take a long time. Whoa, she's super fast. Here you go. Enjoy. That was really quick, Mama Ling. Mmm, yummy. I've never tried anything like it. It's new, different, and it tastes so good. How's the tofu soup, Billy? Huh? What are you eating? Um, I think I'll just stick to eating my cheese sandwich. Why don't you want to try my famous tofu soup? Sorry, Mama Ling. It looks very different from anything I've eaten before. I don't think I'll like it. Well, you wouldn't know it until you try it. Come on, Billy. You've already come all the way to the Far East. Don't you want to give it a try? It does smell nice. Maybe I'll try one sip. Hmm. This is actually really good. Look, Paula, I'm trying something new. That's right, Billy. Number of the day. Eight sandwiches. Eight mushrooms. Dance with Cal. Cucumbers, and I'll try the tofu and mushrooms. Would you like to try some new ingredients on your sandwich, Billy? Sure, Paula. Hmm, should I put the tomatoes first or maybe the tofu? Hey, guys, check out my new way of eating sandwiches. It's an inside-out cheese sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tim, do join us on our next adventure. Have we made enough paper balls, Tim? Yes! Time to get the ball rolling. I mean, thrown into the bin. Woohoo! <laughs> Aw, I missed! Yay, I got one! The numbers are here. They can help us count how many paper balls we can throw into the bin. One, two, three. 
Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see how many paper balls we can throw into the bin. One. Yay! Two. Yes! Three. Woohoo! Wait, what's this? <gasps> There's a beach carnival at Treasure Island today. There's going to be a bouncy pirate ship <gasps> and many other games. The bouncy pirate ship sounds like fun. Will there be hot dogs? <laughs> yes, Tim. Yummy! Can we go to the beach carnival now, please? Can we? Can we? Sure, Tim. It sounds like it'll be lots of fun. Let's go to Treasure Island. Hi, Maurice. Did you organize this beach carnival? Well, hello, everyone. Yes, I spent the whole night setting it up. Oops! What a great job! This carnival looks amazing. Thanks. It's my day off, and I've always wanted to have a beach carnival, so here it is. There's a bouncy pirate ship, a pond to fish for rubber duckies, and lots of food and drinks. Wow, cool. So what would you like to do first? How about shooting some hoops at the basketball machines? Yes, yes, yes! Yay, let's play basketball. Ready, Billy? Um, I'm not good at ball games, Paula. I... I think I'll go play in the bouncy pirate ship. Oh, um, are you gonna be okay? I'll be fine, Paula. You sure, Billy? Um, yeah. I'll see you later. Okay, see you later, Billy. Come on, Paula. We can meet up with Billy later. Now, let's shoot some hoops. <laughs> Good morning, class. Today, you'll have to look at the ball and guess the sport. Let's look to the screen for the first clue. The answer is basketball. That's right, Tim. Now let's look at the next ball. Is the game bowling? That's incorrect, Maurice. The answer is volleyball. Aww. Here's the next ball. Huh. Is your answer baseball? No? Oh, it's netball. Sorry, Chucky. That's incorrect. The right answer is soccer. Our winner is Tim. Congratulations! I need a break. Can we go get a hot dog? Okay, Tim. Hmm. I wonder how Billy is. He would love a hot dog, too. I miss him. Don't worry, Paula. He's probably having lots of fun at the bouncy pirate ship. Wee! This is so much fun. Isn't it fun, Paula? Oh, that's right. Everyone's not here. And this one is for Billy. Oh, I almost forgot. Billy isn't here. Hello, Billy. Are you having fun? Not really. I miss my friends. Oh, well, why aren't you with them? 
I wanted to try the bouncy pirate ship, and they wanted to play other things. So I came here by myself. Billy! Billy! Oh, hi, guys. I'm so happy to see all of you. We're happy to see you, too, Billy. We missed you. Are you enjoying yourself? Um... No, it wasn't much fun. Did you have fun, Paula? Well, a little bit, but we started to miss you, so we came looking for you. That's nice, but how can we enjoy a day out together, Paula? Oh, I know how! This is how to enjoy a day out with all your friends. Step one, find something that everyone will enjoy doing. Step two, stick together as a group during the activity. Step three, make sure everyone is having a good time. That's it. This is how to enjoy a day out with all your friends. That doesn't sound too difficult. Let's follow Maurice's steps to enjoy a day out together. Step one, find something that everyone will enjoy doing. I'd like to stay on this bouncy pirate ship. Is everyone okay with that? Yes, Paula. Sure. Step two. We have to stick together as a group during the activity. Let's bounce together. Woohoo! <laughs> Step three. Make sure everyone is having a good time. Chalky, are you okay? Dancing is so much more fun when all of you are around. Same here, Billy. It's more fun when you are around. We're finally having fun together at the beach carnival, Paula. That's right, Billy. Number of the day! Three basketballs! Three hot dogs! Dance with Calc! I'll catch the paper balls this round! Sure, Tim! Can I just watch all of you play? Sure, Billy. As long as you're here with us, we can still have fun together. Huh? Yes, I get one point. Hey, I wasn't ready yet. <laughs> Do join us on our next adventure. Then pull the ends again and... Ta-da! You have a reef knot. Well done, guys. These are going to be super useful for our camping trip in the jungle. It's okay, Chalky. You'll get it with more practice. Thanks for teaching us how to tie knots, Tim. I feel more prepared for camping now. Yeah, Tim. You're really good at it. Thanks, guys. But I'm not just good at it. I'm an expert. That's why I received this merit badge for tying knots at camp. It shows everyone that I'm awesome at it. Wow, that's great, Tim. And I have other badges, too. I guess you numbers want to know how many merit badges I have. <laughs> Count the number of merit badges Tim has earned. One, two, three. Tim has earned three merit badges. Well done, Tim. Thanks, guys. I can't wait to earn more merit badges on this camping trip. It's going to be so easy because I'm good at everything. Quick, is everyone ready? Yes. Let's go to the... <laughs> oh, 
That's a very special nut, Chalky. Do you need help? It's okay. Calc's not Chalky. Let's go now. Yes. Let's go to the jungle. Hello, children. Are you ready for your camping adventure? Yes! Woohoo! I'm ready to earn more merit badges. Well, Tim, I have a badge for you if you manage to pitch a tent. Yes, I'm super good at pitching tents. Woohoo! I'm done! Check out my awesome tent, Mr. Banana Tree. Well done, Tim. Here's your badge. Way to go, Tim. I'm ready to earn my next badge, Mr. Banana Tree. Oh, how about a climbing badge? I'm very good at climbing, too. Come on, everyone. Yes, I'm doing it. Uh, uh, no, no. Ah! Uh, it's too slippery. I don't think anyone can climb this. <laughs> Jungle Boy! Well, of course Jungle Boy can climb it. He climbs all the time. Jungle Boy! Wow! Well done, Calc. You're such a good climber. What? Calc is better at climbing than I am? Well, Calc's a lot smaller and lighter, so it's easier for him to climb. Sorry, Tim. I can't give you the climbing badge. Don't give up, Tim. There are other things that you're great at. You're right, Paula. Let's try for another badge. Here at the river, Tim. I'm a really good swimmer, so I'll go for a swimming badge now. It'll be easy. The river looks a bit scary, Tim. It'll be fine. I'm a strong swimmer. Well, children, the current doesn't look strong today, so it will be fine. Go for it, Tim. Do your best. I'll have a badge waiting for you when you're back. Hey, Jungle Boy, keep an eye on him, will you? Keep Tim safe. Jungle Boy, keep Tim safe. Woo! See you on the other side, guys. Keep uh, Tim safe, uh, Jungle Boy. Go, Tim. You can do it. <gasps> Shaggy! I never knew Chalky could swim. I'm the best swimmer ever. Huh? Jungle Boy? And Chalky? Faster than me? A hidden talent, Chalky. <laughs> Jungle Boy! Yay, Tim! You did it! Well done, Tim. Here's your swimming badge. I... I wasn't good. Chalky and Jungle Boy were faster and better. That's okay, Tim. At least you completed the swim. No, it's not okay. I thought I was a strong swimmer and a great climber, but I'm not. Everyone has their strengths and weaknesses, Tim, and that's okay. But being weak at something makes me feel bad. What should I do? This is how you deal with weaknesses. Step one, remember that everyone has weaknesses. Step two, remember that you have strengths. 
Step three, do what you're strong at and keep working on your weaknesses. That's it. This is how you deal with weaknesses. Let's follow Mr. Banana Tree's steps on how to deal with weaknesses. Step one, remember that everyone has weaknesses. I'm scared of a lot of things. I'm also not good at swimming. Chalky is clumsy and Cow gets impatient easily. Step two, remember that you have strengths. Tim, you're really good at sports and tying knots and pitching tents. And Paula's good at math. Chalky's good at drawing. And Calc's really strong. And you're very kind, Billy. Step three, do what you're strong at and keep working on your weaknesses. I also need to improve my swimming. We can do it together, Tim. Deal. <laughs> jungle boy, <laughs> jungle boy. We did it, Paula. We learned how to deal with weaknesses. That's right, Billy. Number of the day. Three badges. Three knots. Dance with cow. These s'mores are really good, Tim. Yeah. Can you teach us how to make s'mores the next time we go camping? How <laughs> yummy. How <laughs> <laughs> what? We can't understand you, Tim. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to earn another badge for eating s'mores. How <laughs> <laughs> that is one of your strengths, Tim. Do join us on our next adventure. <laughs>